Good morning. Thank you so much for joining me today. Let's get into the Word of God. Let's go to the book of 1 Peter, chapter number 1. And we're going to look at verse number 13. The Bible says, Wherefore, gird up the loins of your mind, be sober, and <clears throat> excuse me, and hope to the end for the grace that is to be brought unto you at the revelation of Jesus Christ. All right, let's break this verse down. First, what does it mean to gird up the loins? See, back then, the clothing was very different in ancient times. It was almost uh, almost like a skirt, you know, what they wore. It was very long, and then um, underneath, you know, they would have these, uh, these undergarments, you know, so to speak. But they were also big, you know, kind of baggy. And um, what they would do uh, when they were going to go to war or they were going to get in a scuffle or a fight or if they had to run somewhere, they would have to tie up. Uh, you know, their, their long clothing and wrap it around their loins, literally, like tied in a knot, almost, you know, almost like a, like a martial arts belt or something like that, you know, and just wrap it around. It looks, it looks like a giant diaper almost, okay? And they had to wrap it and tie it like that so that it wouldn't, it wouldn't come undone. So then they can run. They can move. Their, their legs will be more mobile. It wouldn't get caught in their clothing. They can run, and, and especially they can fight. Uh, you know, if there was going to be like a, <clears throat> last second battle or something like that, you know, they would quickly, you know, gird up their loins and, uh, and get ready to fight. You know, it was in preparation of, uh, of battle. And it says here, wherefore, gird up the loins of your mind right here. So Peter is telling us here as believers, um, the war, first of all, it's a spiritual war and the battle or battles that we're going to face are spiritual battles and the attacks that are going to come are spiritual attacks and therefore we must prepare ourselves to defend ourselves to fight back to overcome to conquer the uh, the uh, tactics of the devil and uh, you know the spiritual wickedness that that tries to overtake us, and the way we do that is to gird up our loins, so to speak. You know, get ready, prepare. But it's not going to be our garments that we need to prepare; it's our minds. We must keep our minds always prepared to fight the devil, always prepared to fight sin, always prepared to be sober, to be vigilant against spiritual wickedness. Let's keep going here. Wherefore, gird up the loins of your mind, be sober, and hope to the end for the grace that is to be brought unto you at the revelation of Jesus Christ. Wow, that's just absolutely amazing. So for those of us who are saved, you know, we have received the grace of God, absolutely but we have yet to experience it because we're still stuck in this sinful body and we're still stuck in this sinful world. And so, you know, we haven't, we haven't been able to experience, truly experience his forgiveness and grace upon our souls until we take our last breath um, or until he comes back. Uh, but, but either way, there will come a day when Jesus Christ will be revealed to you. See, you and I, we, we've never seen him face to face before. The only thing I know about Jesus Christ is in his word. And so to be able to see his face, what he looks like, his hair color, his eye color, to, to, to see him face to face, that is going to be an amazing day. That will be the fulfillment of his grace upon us when he is revealed unto us. And Peter is imploring us here that uh, we should hope to the end, okay? Hope to the end for the grace that is to be brought when, you know, when Jesus Christ is revealed. 
And so never let go of that hope. Hang on to that hope, uh, that the hope that someday we will get to experience the grace of God and Jesus will be revealed unto us face to face. And how can we successfully keep that hope? By girding up the loins of our minds. Always be mentally ready to fight the devil and, and be sober, be vigilant, and, uh, and be prepared to fight that spiritual war. Thank you so much for joining me today. God bless you. Have a wonderful day, and we'll see you tomorrow morning. Bye-bye.